हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू नोवा बायो टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट क्रोमोजोमल एब्रेशंस सो बेसिकली क्रोमोजोमल एब्रेशंस आर डिवाइडेड इनटू फोर टाइप्स नोन एज डिलीशन डुप्लिकेशन इन्वर्जन एंड ट्रांसलोकेशंस व्हाट हैपेंस जनरली व्हेन क्रोमोजोमल एब्रेशन ऑकर देयर इज अ चांस दैट पार्ट ऑफ द सेगमेंट गेट्स डिलीटेड पार्ट ऑफ द सेगमेंट्स गेट ट्रांसफर्ड फ्रॉम वन क्रोमोसोम टू अनदर क्रोमोसोम व्हिच मे बी होमोलोगस और नॉन होमोलोगस पार्ट ऑफ द क्रोमोसोम गेट्स डुप्लिकेटेड सो ऑल दैट हैपेंस अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट देयर इज अ इन्वर्जन व्हिच ऑकर्स एंड दैट लीड्स टू पेरीसेंट्रिक एंड पैरासेंट्रिक इन्वर्जन सो वी विल सी दैट इन डेप्थ so we will first focus on deletion okay so there are two types of deletion terminal and interstitial so what is a terminal deletion for example this is a segment and this part of the segment gets deleted so this is a terminal end so that kind of deletion is a terminal deletion now what is a interstitial deletion so we will see what is a interstitial deletion so what happens in interstitial deletion so what happens in interstitial deletion so we'll see that for example this is a segment and in this segment if two breaks occurs okay so for example if break occurs over here and here so segment which is going to be form after that deletion are these so this is interstitial deletion any kind of deletion is lethal and that can lead to many problems in an individual so that is about deletion part so now we will discuss about duplication event okay so there are two types of duplication one is tandem and one is reverse so what is the difference between tandem and reverse duplication we'll see that in depth in case of tandem duplication if this is a segment and this de for example gets repeated so this repetition is called as tandem duplication event and in case of reverse duplication for example if this is your chromosome and if reverse duplication occurs in such a way that so this represents the conversion of abcd to abdc this represents reverse duplication event okay so this was about deletion and duplication now we will discuss about inversion so in case of inversion we have two types of variation pericentric and paracentric inversion so pericentric inversion the inversion which involves centromere that is pericentric inversion the inversion which has a centromere present in it is pericentric inversion whereas paracentric inversion doesn't contain centromere that is the main difference between pericentric inversion and paracentric inversion now we'll see the inversion pattern in detail inversions can be homozygous or heterozygous 
in a heterozygous inversion one chromosome in a pair of the homologous chromosome is structurally normal so out of two chromosomes one chromosome is structurally normal whereas another chromosome it carries inversion so this will carry inversion whereas in case of homozygous inversion what happens in case of homozygous inversion both pair of chromosome are abnormal or they carry inversion of same nature so that is the main difference between inversion now we will move on to the final topic translocation now we will talk about translocation so what is an translocation event when two non homologous chromosomes exchange their parts the resulting chromosomal rearrangement are translocations so what is the meaning of non homologous chromosomes there are for example if this is the chromosome number 22 so it will be in a pair right so this is a homologous chromosome okay and if you are considering chromosome number 22 pair like uh, one of the chromosome of chromosome number 22 and one pair from chromosome number 23 that is a non homologous chromosome that is a difference between homologous and non homologous chromosome so translocation is divided into two types first is reciprocal and another is non reciprocal so what is the difference between the two non reciprocal translocation involves the transfer of segment in one direction from one chromosome to another chromosome whereas in reciprocal translocation the most common type a segment from one chromosome is exchanged with segment from another non homologous chromosome so two translocation chromosomes are generated simultaneously so basically you can understand in case of reciprocal event from one chromosome a part of the segment gets transfer and same time from this chromosome part of the segment will get transferred and that will create two chromosomes with variation whereas in case of non reciprocal only it is unidirectional so from one chromosome part of the segment will get transferred so this world was about chromosomal aberration so please like share and subscribe for more such videos and do let us know in the comment box if you want us to make any particular video thank you